grade sixes. I hope you're well. I hope that you are enjoying the warmer weather. So what I would like you to do is a bit of reading and research today. And we are going to be looking at page 120 to 123 of our textbook. Now, we all know that we, we look forward to public holidays and uh, oh, Monday's a public holiday or Sunday was a public holiday, so we get Monday off. And, you know, for a lot of us, it, it could just be about having a day off school and enjoying or going to the cricket or a concert or what have you. But obviously, there are reasons for these public holidays. And so we need to know what we are remembering on that day and why we have that public holiday. And then sometimes we may pay tribute to someone or something on that day. So from page 120 to 123, we'll have South Africa's national days or public holidays. All right. And there are nine of them. So what I want you to do in your book, I'm going to just show you this book from um, one of my kids previously. But if you have a look there, you're going to have a date and a heading, South African National Days. Now I want you to have the date in the first column. Then this says the day, but you can write day or public holiday. And then in the third column, so I don't want a fourth column. So in the third column, make it a bit wider, let's say all the way to there, and you will say remembering it or why we remember it. All right, so you're going to have number one all the way to number nine. Okay. Right, so it is page 120 to 123. I'll show you in your textbook quickly. It starts with 16th of December, Day of Reconciliation, um, with the date 1838 at the top. Okay, and then as you go, you'll see Workers' Day, National Women's Day. So I need to answer the questions. Human Rights Day, Africa Day, Youth Day, Freedom Day, Heritage Day, and Mandela Day. Okay, and those are the nine. So just to recap, we'll be doing this over the next three other lessons. This lesson, tomorrow's the other book. The next lesson, the day after that's the other half, and the third lesson, the next day is the other half. Date, heading, public holiday, uh, South Africa, public holidays or national days, and then a nice big table, two small columns for the date of the public holiday. The second column is the public holiday or name of the public holiday. And the third column is your widest one to the middle of the book or to the edge of the book, depending on what page you're writing on. And there you will explain in your own words why we remember that particular day and what are we celebrating and what are we paying tribute to. All right, and that's it. So happy, happy reading, happy remembering, and... Um, Make it fabulous. Remember, you can use colors, highlighters, glitter, all sorts. Just make your book look fabulous so that when you study, it's far easier to, to read nicely, to see the different colors, and then you can visualize it during your exam. Okay, so good luck and good writing. Over and out.